Sign your live away, bro. I got and, and, and achieve whatever you want to achieve without having to be judged or having to be categorized or being put via label, you know? So question, um, were you born in Africa or were you born here? I was born and raised in Africa. I'm a refugee to this country. How do you feel? I've been here since 2006. Question, so how do you feel about Trump in office and what he's doing now? The society, that we feel a second. What do you feel about that? A, B, okay. Do you express that in your music? Because I do think it's important for people to understand, you know, the issues and your opinion, so that they can kind of stand with you and have, you know, support you. I mean, Donald Trump is the president right now. Um, we are no politician. I'm an immigrant here. He, he's saying whatever he's saying about him. He's saying, and I'm part of those people. That, I got, a, I got a lot of people that I know, I got family that I know that I got sent back and all that stuff. And you know what type of event we at? Um, we That's why I'm asking you, because it's home for you. So I need to understand, you know, because things happen when you speak on issues that hit home for you. So that's why I asked you that question. Yeah, I'm a politician. No, I understand. I understand. Most definitely things happen and um, your voice your voice should be heard and my voice should be heard. But um, I'm going to come up and... Um, this is going to be on websites, and it's going to be on whatever it's going to be on. And I'm trying to be somebody in this country, and I ain't trying to jeopardize my chances. Or okay, so you don't want an opinion on that. So we going to go, we got. to He ain't doing nothing. In any events, we want to skip to the next question. I gave you an easy one, but since you want to be difficult, so you want to come get you. Okay. Oh, I got you. We're going to be on the show professional. So social media, has it hurt or helped you? A. B. Has it hurt or helped the industry as a whole, and how? Um, social media has helped me. Like I said, I'm African. Um, I came here, I came over here. It's like what a day and a half to get back to my country, and on a plane. <laughs> so imagine, yeah. Social media helped me. 
Um, I get to speak to my family. I get to speak. I get to reach out to people in Africa, and they get to see what I'm doing. They get to see that I'm making a change. They, they see that okay, yeah, we in Africa, but our brother is in the world. Like, yeah, he, he's on TV. They see my video. They're like, yo, my brother is on TV. My brother is doing the same thing that these American people is doing, and that's that's exactly why I started oh, from for, for, for us to be young, famous Africans to just prove that anybody and everybody is equal and. I think everybody over here could agree to that because somehow, somewhere, one of y'all parents is not from America. <laughs> I think everybody can relate to that, which is why that makes this country so great, despite what's going on now. I think that that's what makes us so unique. How big of an influence, um, if it is Akon, and if not, you know, other people uh, that you look up to, and who do you want to work with going forward? Definitely Akon. He's out there making a big move. He's just making a big impact and having a big influence on Africa right now. He's signing a lot of oh artists God. from Africa that are well known. And I really look forward to work with Akon. Um, got a couple different artists from the city. Dave East from um, East Harlem too. Looking to work with him. Trying to see what's going on. Um, got me club. I'm really trying to work with the artists that's from around my neighborhood at the moment and, and, and bring up my neighborhood. And at the end of the day, I'm not really being a uh, 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 bipolar, not bipolar, but just kind of... I'm bipolar, you can't be bipolar. I don't want to be bipolar, but, but, but at the same time, I got to be so I can just have different feelings on my tracks. But I'm really, I'm willing and looking to work with anybody that's out here. Your music is dope, that has some talent, that has something to offer on the table. Well, you've been real stingy with your shit. I have no music on you, I can't speak to uh, your sounds. What I will do though is say that production is lacking in this industry. Um, that's why people are so in awe this week with what happened. So um, I think people should mingle, mix cards, and definitely talk with you. I'm going to be stalking you, give people your handles, and, and then I need my seat. I got you, no worries. Thank you very much for having me. It was a pleasure talking to you. It was a pleasure for everybody to time to listen to me. You can find me on Facebook, YFA Moab. It's my F A M O A F. You can find me on Instagram, YFA Moab. You can find me on YouTube, M O A F. The M O A F thing for more African. I got a video out right now. It's called Overtime, and it really is a really nice video, and it gives a nice message. You should really look into it. I'm gonna be stalking you. Good luck. Like I said, in the seat. My pleasure. We're gonna talk soon. My pleasure. I'll talk soon.